Everyone, it's Nick with Us versus Herd. I want to talk today about Luna and UST. Just want to give my opinion. This is my opinion only, so I don't want to make people mad. Now, this is not a video that's going to tell you it's going to recover or anything, but this is a realistic point of view that I have that I always had on all crypto. Um, you know, I, I do invest in crypto. I do have some. I am not a holder of Luna, thankfully, but, but, there are a lot of things like I've, I've used stable coins. I've used everything else. But if it's your first time here, you want to join our community link is below in the description to our discord and our trading group on Facebook. If you do me a big favor, hit the like button. Now, looking at Luna here, you know, pull up, pull up the chart here. I mean, this thing a couple days ago, a few days ago, it was like 100. And now it's at 19 cents. It hit a low of, of what's that? Oh, I'm sorry, not 19 cents, two cents right now hit a low of 0 0.0003 and it just continues to drop. And there's a lot of people here that are like, hey, I think maybe I should just buy and maybe it'll cover. But if I mean if you don't care about your money, I mean sure you can you can give it a shot. I mean the we'll we'll share in a second here, but the the Luna team has been very aggressive with saving face here. But I mean when when you're looking at a a stock or I mean forget it's crypto. Let's just say it's not crypto. Let's let's say it's a shares of a company and we're just looking at the price. I mean, anything, if you go from $100 to basically zero, I mean, what do you think? This thing this thing is imploded. I mean, I've been saying this when it was way above, way above, you know, two cents that it was imploding. Now, I think the thing is, I, the interesting thing is that I find is that I didn't think Luna would be the one to break crypto. Right. And I, I don't think anyone saw this coming. Right. Except for I mean, I'm not I, I don't want to get into the details of this was attack, not an attack or who did the attack. I don't I don't care about any of that as a trader, as an investor, that none of that really matters right now. What matters is the future. Right. And one of the things that I said is that, you know, one of the things that the government will do is try to put distrust and and you start seeing that in in Luna. Right. Luna. And it's not so much that I would say it's not so much that Luna is is down, but I mean that's bad. I think it is it exposed a basically a scam here with these you know the idea of having a stable coin which is UST or Terra USD. And if you don't know what a stable coin is, it's it's a coin that you're supposed to basically transfer your crypto into in case of a downturn or a safe haven, so that way you can keep you know basically your money. So if let's say Let's say, for instance, Bitcoin's going down. You could you could transfer it into USDT, and you know there's a bunch of them. Binance has one. I mean, there's you know USDC, USD coin. I mean, there's a bunch of them, and it's supposed to be basically you're supposed to transfer your crypto into there in the event that there is you know the market breaks or a downturn, and you don't want to exit the blockchain, but you want to keep your money safe, and that's what it's supposed to do. And I think you know. You, and, and everyone's like, hey, you know, well, there's no, you know, you know, the dollar is worth nothing and stuff like that. But the dollar is a faith based system, just as crypto. You have to have faith to invest in it or to hold it. Like if I have money in my bank account, I have faith that if I have $100 today, there'll be, you know, $100 in there tomorrow or, you know, with inflation, who cares? But we're not going to get into the details, right? Same with crypto. If you believe in, let's say, UST or uh, you know any of these any of these stable coins, you're expecting it to be a dollar today and a dollar tomorrow, right? And the fact that right now it hit a low of 22 cents. Right now it's trading at 36 cents, so under 40 cents. I mean, this thing has dropped over 70 percent just in the last 24 hours, down 45 percent right now, right? And the thing is, this is going to make people not trust crypto. It's gonna it's it's just gonna make them not trust crypto. You know, people are, people were just, you know, investing blindly. I mean, I, I get it. We all want to get rich, right? Everyone wants to be a multimillionaire. But the thing is, you have to put, any millionaire I know has to do the work. You have to do the work. Like, you can't just become a millionaire overnight because you helped them. I mean, the Dogecoin millionaire hasn't been a millionaire for a while. Dogecoin, what was it, like seven cents, eight cents? I mean, it is it is insane where, where it's at. I mean, Doge, let me just look it up. I mean, yeah, it's currently at eight cents right now. Went from, you know, 80 cents down to down to eight again and, you know, back up. And then you have, you know, you have you have people like, you know, this person right here. He's saying he purchased over 7,000 Luna past year, hoping to make some life savings and marriage purpose. However, 
what happened show me how weak crypto is he needs to fix his grammar but maybe he's from out of the country who knows uh english might not be his first language who knows who's going to fall next when a few people out of millions able able to manipulate the whole market i lost a lot but i still have faith right so you have to have i mean i think this guy's a good example not that he lost a lot of money but you have to have faith in that currency you have to have faith that something's going to happen like like the u.s dollar i mean you have to have faith to hold that you know, you have to have faith to accept that at a business. You have to have faith. And I think the main thing, what is going to most likely bring in regulation is that, you know, that a so, so-called so stable coin is not necessarily stable. You you part your money there and I, then you lost 70%. You know, you lost, I mean, and that's, you know, that's better than Luna. Luna's down 99.99%. You know, you know what I mean? It's like, so... What I'm saying is, from this point on, I think that, I mean, whether the government did this or not, or somebody big player, this is going to bring in regulation. You know, Janet Yellen was already talking today about regulating this. Because things like this will continue to happen without regulation, government intervention. And everyone's like, you know, everyone in crypto is like, oh, we don't want the government, we want to be decentralized. If you, do, if you haven't seen already, crypto is centralized. Okay, through the exchanges, through the holders, through the whales, it is centralized. I mean, crypto is an amazing idea. Bitcoin is an amazing idea. It's amazing. You know, you don't have a central bank. You don't have any of that, right? But you do have to have rules and laws to abide by. Otherwise, things like this will continue to happen. People will start keep getting screwed. And the more that people get screwed, the less likely are people going to use your product. So if you want people to use crypto... You're going to want regulation. You're going to want people to be regulated, especially like the exchanges. And you want to have repercussions like the SEC. If, if you go in and scam the, uh, a stock or do something crazy, there's repercussions. Same should be for crypto. You should not be able to avoid the law with crypto, you know? And, and, and things got so bad. I mean, Binance has put out saying, you know, for their, for their Luna futures. I mean, if it gets below... What was it? 0. 0.005. They're going to delist the contracts and then they're going to launch Luna B, B, BUSD, which is what we're looking at here, which is Luna BUSD. So it's already happened. So Luna, Luna USDT is already, you know, already gone. Luna B, BUSD, the pairing is, is perpetual contracts are now, you know. I mean, this is bad, and I, I think I think this is going to ruin crypto for a lot of people, and not necessarily the people that were invested, but the people that were potentially thinking about getting into crypto. And then you're like, oh, now now it's made major headlines. Oh, can you believe those people thought they were in a stable coin and lost seventy percent of their money? Can you believe that? You know, like as a community, a crypto community, you're going to want things to get better if you keep things the same they're going to get the same results right you're going to get the same results i mean right now right now we're you know we had because of all this and liquidations you know it's trickling down into bitcoin bitcoin hit 24.5 right a couple days ago it was 40k hit 24.5 i mean we can go 10k 18k you know ether is ether ETH is down under sub 2000 it hit 1600 you know, and then you have, you know, you have people, you know, obviously Luna and those, I'm not going to read all the, the responses here, but they're trying to stay safe. You know, you know, this was yesterday. Terra's return to form will be a sight to behold. We're here to stay and we're going to keep making noise. Meanwhile, their, their other account is, you know, you know, basically the, the primary obstacle is expelling the bad debt from UST circulation at a clip fast enough for the system to restore the health of on-chain spreads. Like, like they can't control this. The market has taken control at this point. I mean, people are panicking and, you know, we need to be careful. I mean, we need to be careful moving forward. You know, we need to be able to to, to keep our money safe and you be, you want to be able to hold things that that you believe in. And sure, maybe you have faith in, in, in Luna and all that, but at the end of the day, I mean, it's 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 basically worthless at this point. So where does where does crypto go from here, right? Leave me a comment below. But those are those are my thoughts. I mean, just be careful out there. Like this, this is a very, very dangerous, very dangerous market. And sure, the stock market is down 
a lot, but however, the stock market is highly regulated, right? You, I mean, we're, we're gonna get a bounce back, crypto will get a bounce back, but I think the major thing here is that people lost a lot of trust in the stable coins, which is gonna cost them trust in crypto in general. So let me le leave a comment, hit the like button, let me know what you think. If you watch the end, comment below, watch the end. As always, stay safe, try to stay green. It's us versus hurt.